I was reminded earlier when I was working with another uh, company that just how important it is to take a break from life, <laughs> whether it's taking a vacation or even 30 minutes like this to do a quick meditation. It just gives you the cognitive dissonance to be able to stop what you're doing, regroup, recenter, find your, your calm nervous center, nervous system state, and then to go back into the world from that perspective. It's such a gift to be able to reset your brain a little bit so that you show up to the world more aligned with who you truly are and not just you know, reacting to stimulus as it arises. So I just want to name, good job, you made it. <laughs> and so in yoga, which is the kind of meditation we do here, yogic meditation, the heart is the energetic center of love, compassion, um, acceptance, gratitude, like all the good feels really come from this area. And even physiologically, we tend to feel those emotions kind of manifest in this region of the body, generally speaking. And so, A, it's good to come into that space because if you are not in that space, it's good to reset your brain. And the second, when we come into the heart, we do meditations that focus on these concepts, it brings your nervous system state out of the fight or flight response and helps you to ground into your parasympathetic rhythm, which is the calming rest and digest response, which is the only space nervous system state, I should say, that your body can actually heal, that you can regenerate cells, that you can get over burnout and exhaustion and where your system can just come back to where it needs to come back to. Um, all to say, that's why we're always here. And this is why returning the heart helps you do that. Today's practice is called light in the heart. And sometimes I make up these practices and sometimes they come from antiquity. And today is the latter. This practice has been around in some format like this for probably a good couple thousand years, at least. <laughs> so um, know that we're practicing something today that is quite tried and true. And it's going to focus on building light in the body and seeing that expand the whole world. And I'll leave the rest of the experience to your individual experience as we, we go there. But of course, we'll prime it up through some mindfulness and breath awareness before we uh, head into that part of the practice. And so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. And I want you to really give yourself excessive permission right now to make yourself comfortable. If you need to go turn down a light, if you need to silence your cell phone, if you need to do anything, if you need to find a different chair, if you want to lay on the floor, <laughs> um, make yourself comfortable. And even when you sit down and your eyes start to close and you feel like you need to fidget and sit up and twist or something or find another position for your arms, take as much license the next few moments to make yourself as comfortable as possible. Maybe you need to move the neck around a little bit. Maybe there's one more stretch you want to do before you settle in, but give yourself permission to make yourself comfortable. And it's almost as if you're doing this to help diffuse any excessive energy. And it's almost as if you're slowly moving closer to a point of stillness. And so just keep, if you need to, fidgeting and moving until you feel like you can be still. And as the movement diffuses, you may find that that stillness now feels more effortless. It's as if you're surrendering the weight of your body into your chair. And even tension in your body starts to relax. Relaxing tension of the jaw, your eyes, forehead. Relaxing the abdomen, the back body your glutes, the muscles of your pelvis. It's 
Feeling your arms heavy. Your legs relax, your feet and hands ungrip. Constriction in your throat softens as well. And relaxing into this effortless body. And as the body relaxes, allow the effort in your breath to relax as well. Not forcing it. Letting the breath to come to its autonomic rhythm. And as all of that relaxes, I'd like you to think about the emotional states that you have been occupying lately. And lately is relative. That could be the last few days. It could be the last few weeks. Whatever really feels like fits the definition for you right now. But how have you been feeling lately? What emotions have been present? There may have been times of sadness, fear, anger, confusion. There may, may have been times of happiness, excitement, Joy, peace, calm. There may have been times where you have tried to suppress or mute emotions. How have you been feeling lately? What emotions are present or have been present? And as you're witnessing, you might feel a tendency to label some of these as good and some of these as bad or preferable and non-preferable. And I want you to take all of these emotions you've been feeling and bring them off of that spectrum, off of that binary. And just see each one of them as a function of your mind a function of your system. And each of these emotions, no matter how they've shown up, in their own unique individual ways, have been trying to help you, serve you, or protect you. No matter how it showed up, trying to help, trying to protect. And in that understanding, just feel a blanket of compassion for these emotional states. maybe a sense of acceptance for these emotional states. And 
perhaps a sense of gratitude for all of these emotions, for helping you, for serving you, for protecting you. There might even be a sense of love Then follow that feeling of compassion, gratitude, or love to the region of your heart. And there at the center of the chest, the energetic heart center, I want you to feel or sense or see a bright light ignited at that point inside of the body, the center of the chest, radiant. And seeing that light at the center of your chest, also see a pinhole, an opening at the center of your sternum or the front of the chest where the light from within can shine outward. And as you hold your awareness at that pinhole of light shining outward from within, you start to notice that it is pulsing, growing brighter with each inhale and dimming just slightly with each exhale. The longer you hold your awareness of this pulsing light, the more it grows with each inhale and the less it dims with each exhale. So watch that light grow. Eventually, it grows bright enough to surround your upper body. Continue to see the light grow. Brighter with each inhale, expanding outward in all directions from that pinhole of light at the center of your chest. Eventually, your entire body is surrounded by this light. And feel this light expanding and filling the room that you are in, every corner. And so bright is this light that it pushes beyond the walls and into other spaces in the building that you are in.
filling this building. Feel the light push beyond these confines and spill out into the streets, making its way across the neighborhood. across this town or city. The light continuing to expand, feel it push into other towns, other cities. into the entire county or region you're in. And feel the light spreading across the state over landforms, bridges, water, Spreading outward to neighboring states, making its way across the country. Across the continent and to other countries. From that pinhole of light at the chest, feel the light expand across oceans into other continents around the world. And eventually holding the entire world in the light of your heart. And feel this light touching every being, every creature on this planet. Shining into the lightest and darkest corners of this world. And feel each creature on this planet receiving that light. And holding the world in the light of your heart, send the world your best intentions, your best wishes for the world. Could be peace or prosperity or something else, whatever comes to your mind. Send that intention out to every being The brightness, the bigness, the intensity of this light shining again from that pinhole at the chest. Like a spotlight turning around, imagine that that pinhole of light shining outward turns around and shines within your body, filling every cell, spreading into your mind, your brain every organ filling with this brilliant, bright, strong light.
and holding yourself in the light of your own heart. Send yourself the same intentions and wishes you sent to everyone else, that you sent to the rest of the world. Because you deserve it too. You're a part of this world. And as you send this light to yourself, also allow yourself to receive it. Receive that intention, receive that best wish. And continue to rest in the light of your heart. This brilliant, radiant light within. Your true nature. And allowing the visual of the light to fade, but knowing that it's still there. Feel your body sitting here. Notice your breath gently moving in this body. And when you're ready, Please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring your palms together in front of you and rub them together, creating heat. And take the heated palms over your eyes, brushing gently over the top of your head and down your neck, bringing yourself back to the space around you.